When people hear the word eminent domain, um, it, it's understood that uh, they don't have the assets to fight it. You know, once they put the gun on me, we didn't have a choice. Because, you know, the law is on their side, not our side. So just imagine if every tree, every view, every familiar touch that your family had ever known for 80 years was going to be destroyed by a developer for a plan, for a planned project. It's been nothing but a nightmare where you can't sleep, you can't eat. He can't, can't even begin to function right because of all the harassment, the threats. To our knowledge, there were never any, uh, any problems with our property. They just coveted it, and they were going to take it. We've always had eminent domain for public works, for roads, for bridges, for schools, for streets. But the idea that we would take private property away from one person and give it to another private interest, that's a new idea. Those that have power, those that have the ability to influence what happens in City Hall are the ones that are going to profit from it. That is exactly what our founding fathers were trying to prevent when the Fifth Amendment to the Constitution was added to the Bill of Rights. You simply couldn't stop it. We couldn't stop it. And it didn't matter how um, beneficial and substantial and established uh, our, our, our presence was, we could not stop it. To take what's ours and make it theirs. Hey, everyone, nobody cares.